Do okay, how about, how about, okay, let's just, let's see what happens if we start now. Hmm. Hmm. Welcome to the facial, uh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep. You yep. had three words between the two of you. Uh, There's a yeah. lot of pressure. Facial, facial recognition, recognition is comedy. This room smells too good. Let's for say a it all together. Okay. Facial. Okay, well, let me do the welcome, welcome to, to facial recognition comedy podcast. podcast. Yeah. Oh, oh you, got, you want to say podcast? <laughs> is that what you want to <laughs> say? Okay. Come on, instant. Uh, I like the podcast it. one. Okay. Uh, okay. I got the podcast one. Okay. Well, who the hell are you guys? Yeah, introduce oh, yourself. Oh, my name is Ali Sultan, and I'm Mohana Del Sheikhi. And welcome to. Facial recognition comedy podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. This is uh, dumb. Comedy is all about timing. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep. oh We're God. really good at timing, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So just so you recognize the voices, this is Fiza Dasani. This is Zara Ali. And Paula Viganalan. There's five of us on this podcast today. Because we had the pleasure of having Mohanad and Ali on our show yesterday at Westside. Hey. You guys did great. You had awesome sets. It yeah, was wonderful it's, to watch it's you. such a great concept. I, I like. I enjoyed watch. I usually don't. Do you enjoy watching comedy? Uh, sometimes. I like my. <laughs> I, I, I like watching my YouTube videos yeah. of my sets. over and over yeah. again. Yeah, Do you really enjoy watching your own YouTube videos? No, I hate I, it so much. <laughs> I don't yeah. know any comic that enjoys watching themselves right. back. On like sometimes, like favorite. watching shows, like a full show is kind of tough. But yeah. you guys, your show was so fun. It was so great. Thank it was you. fun, right? Even the reporter that was in there, like uh, the buddy of mine, yeah, he's Neil. like, "Hey, let me know if, uh, if they ever come in town. I'll give him some ink." We want to come into town. Yeah, yeah. We yeah I got it. Which you're two from cities? Minneapolis, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we got Minneapolis. What's close to Minneapolis? We were planning Chicago already. Yeah, Chicago is the uh, like it's uh, Minneapolis, Wisconsin, Chicago. Yeah. So, so could, could we possibly away. do like Ma uh, could we do like a <clears throat> Chicago, Madison? Oh yeah. And yeah. Minneapolis Smart, is yeah. that possible to do? We would yeah, do that yeah, triangle. Yeah, yeah. tri is it a triangle up there? Like I don't know. Um, I don't understand Midwest geography. Ma Madison it's at is least very, a line. <laughs> Madison's very close to Chicago. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, and, so and you, it's 5 hours away from Minneapolis. You're hearing us plan this out Talk right now. Shop. Can I be podcast? your agent? I want to be your agent you, or manager for this store. <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's let's do this. What percentage? There's a lot of money in this. I like I what like percentage? to make What percentage? I you know I'm fair, you know. Yeah, what's fair? What's fair to you? This you is guys, a straight uh, up business <laughs> meeting. What's you guys fair? have a Listen, Mohana, shut up. We're dealing with business right oh, now. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I want a fixed rate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. But Mohana's got like the Pacific Northwest, right? Because you're from Portland. Yes. Portland, well, baby. Ten, yeah, 10%. Okay. 10%. He knows yeah. what he wants. Oh, absolutely. All right, yeah. listen. Uh, but you know. I'm just saying this is verbal. We haven't shaken on anything. Let's go with, There's nothing let's go on with 30% <laughs> and then negotiate from there. We're, just, listen. we're burning this podcast. Okay. Okay, you start at 30, we'll start at zero. <laughs> Okay. And then we can end at uh, five. Five. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was like. Let's go with that. Also, five, five, five bucks. Okay. Actually, zero percent. Oh, we're talking percentage. Okay. okay. Let us explain. Let us actually explain what, what happened yeah. to our listeners. Usually, our lineup is an all female lineup of South Asian American and Middle Eastern American women. Mm. Um, we recently had a male start hosting, um, you know, because we want to make sure that the male voice is heard on our show. <laughs> trying to see if they're funny. No, honestly. We're trying to put them to work. That, yeah. Let's just be honest. That's pretty much yeah. it. Because we just want to go up there. Because usually, usually when you're hosting as a comic, you don't necessarily, you kind of sacrifice your own set. Yeah. They're comics. You know? So we're like, all right, let's have the dudes do the hard part. And yeah. we go up there and we showcase our best material. Absolutely. You know, yeah. and just have fun. That's a smart thing. So that's basically Sparkle. what we did. It's like if you're doing an, yeah. an all black show and then a white guy takes the bullet. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly exactly, it. Yeah. A white guy so, taking a bullet for black people? Amazing. Oh, yeah. she's going to hey. so, See? See? Also, so we got, also we got no the, one is going to shoot a white guy. So yeah. oh, That's <laughs> true. That's true. Um, so a white, like a white man is like, like a bulletproof vest. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Where's Paul? The best vest is, is Paul's privilege. Mexican, by the way. <laughs> okay. White passing. It's okay. The, yeah. It's the week. Actually, Mohana, you're the best you're, we can do right you're now. You're white passing. Do you yeah. do you get that? Not a according lot? to you, ICE. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Mohan ah, Mohana. Yeah. Mohana with an N. Yeah. On I mean, I, I, I mean, pass by until I open my mouth, and they're like, "Yeah, that's not white." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. could. So do you, you could pass for like we, Italian a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like I I pass like I'm like colonize other people for sure. Yeah. I can see you doing that yeah 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 <laughs> that's why i was like so mad i wasn't uh i wasn't in the versace assassination thing uh the uh, uh oh, the yeah. show about it like because oh, it's a whole italian family yeah. i could have been his brother or something yeah you could have totally did you audition for it no <laughs> it came out after it was oh you like, wanted to be discovered 
Yeah, yeah, I could have. Where know. were you? Where were you? Where did you want to be discovered? Just at home? Portland. Yeah, Portland. Portland, Just walking around and just being like, ah! As far as I'm concerned, Mohanan's either in Portland or on a bus. That's like... (laughs) Wait, so are you... Do people get discovered just walking the streets in Portland? Is this a story? Absolutely (laughs) not. I think if if you're on the streets of Portland and you don't have a tattoo or a beard, you might get discovered. Like you might... That might be hot shit. That's true. <laughs> I'm I'm currently looking at Mohanad's headshot right now. If you go to uh, how do you say your last name? Mohanad El Shaky. Yeah. You could get a great bio of him with some really amazing pictures of you and a yeah. bunch of old uh, <laughs> videotapes. Yeah, because yes. you were going very hipster with it. Absolutely, because the guy who shot it is from Seattle, so. Nice. And so Seattle, is that the only place in the country where they still watch VHS? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. Well, what's the meaning behind that picture? I, <laughs> there's so many layers to it. Like, no, it so, yeah. so he's unrolling he the tape, will... which um, I think is his version of protesting the Versace movie, right? <laughs> ah. That's, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That was it's super all. amazing. Yeah, that's the best way to look. Uh, Are at these it. like movies you like or some shit? Or? I to there's, this to this there? day I haven't read Bubble Boy the names on the movie. Space <laughs> The mass, the mass, the full Monty. Those are good. Uh, Scary movie. So it's just him telling you what to do, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. I can't oh. believe that photographer took advantage of you like that. You just got yeah. failure. You, you got so failure funny. to launch in here. Are you it Matthew was, McConaughey fan? It was for free though, so I didn't, oh, well. pay, I didn't have to pay for it. So. Well, that's great. And yeah. you know, comics, Amazing. we always we're always in for the free deal, yeah. as are most brown people. And I it's know. the <laughs> you're, it's a free photo that you're using for your like your bio yeah, photo. So exactly. you're getting yeah. a lot of mileage out of it. It's a good one. Absolutely. What are some What are some highlights here? So you you're are... originally from Libya. Yeah. Wait, can we just can we talk about the bus incident? Yeah. Wait, what's Let's... what's happening with the bus? Incident? Okay. Wait, yeah. was it so talk about your? Sorry, go ahead. Was it in Libya? No, no, no. Talk <laughs> no. about your background and then what happened with ICE. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm I'm originally from Libya, from Benghazi specifically. Uh, and do you know uh, Hillary? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the emails, I have all of them. Did you say they're actually Hillary in the tapes? Emails. Yeah, they're on the <laughs> <laughs> They're all in the video in the tapes. tapes. Yeah. On yeah. his bio. They are. His it's mostly cat videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, a uh, few a week ago I was I was in uh, I was in uh, Pullman, Washington, doing a show at Washington State University. Uh, this is how you know this is going to be a terrible story already because that place sucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no offense to any listeners who go there. No one in Pullman listened to anything. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, it's, it's very sad there. <laughs> Yeah, and I was going back, and I stopped at Spokane bus station, uh, taking a Greyhound bus, and then I got stopped by a uh, uh, border patrol who like just got into the bus, and they asked me if I was a citizen, and I said no, I'm not, and they like asked me uh, to come out, and then asked me for my papers and stuff, and uh, I gave them my papers. Okay, here's and my. It, it wasn't STD papers. It was your citizen. <laughs> okay, your, your yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah. Here's my driver's <laughs> license. This is my work permit. Here's my like immigration case number. Whatever. All of you that. You have to carry all that with you when you're traveling. Yeah, I just carry it just just, in case. just to be safe. Just, yeah, you That's know, outrageous. being just yeah. being Middle Eastern in America, you have yeah. to do it. And even after yeah. like doing that, they were like, uh, they were like, yeah, they, these look fake. <laughs> what? I was like, no, they're not fake. And they were like, yeah, they, they can be falsified. And I'm like, no, which are, they. Can. Which is a good point, though. What's that? They can be falsified. It, it, it's Everything a very good lies. point, <laughs> except that on their website they say that since 2011, those uh, documents cannot be falsified because they're. Fraud proof. Ah. Uh, What's the fraud proof technology? Yeah. See, this it's is... probably something like in the paper. We should yeah. probably um, not discuss that on this podcast or yeah. we will be shut down. Yeah. You know, so I. Leaking so I, government secrets. On so I, I wish a motherfucker yeah. would yeah. shut us down. Yeah, we're tired. (laughs) (laughs) I could be in Pilates right now, but I'm here, you know. Yeah. (laughs) So did you get back on the bus? Like, How how was this resolved? And were they holding your papers as they were? were, That would be so scary to me if they they were were holding holding my papers and telling you they were fake. Yeah, and I I was like, uh, I mean, it got, it was like 20 minutes, just like us just going back and forth and me being like, Mm -hmm. those are not fake. And then uh, they were like, yeah, we just uh, made a phone call and checked and you have no records here. And I was like, this that is bullshit. bullshit. Yeah, I was like, you that did is not. Bullshit. Yeah, I got to the point where they you? were like trying to break me. I uh-huh. just like trying to make me do something because one of them started yelling at me to take my hands out of my pockets. Oh, God. And I did that. And I was like, I, it, was, it was like freezing cold there. So I was like, OK, yeah, sure. I put them out. 
And then I did that thing where I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen. So I was like, I was like, hey, I think this is like what you're doing. And I was like illegal. Like, I don't think you should be doing that. Also, I need my papers back or I'm going to call my lawyer. And I'm like, I'm going to like take legal action and stuff. And then uh, they were like, just like, didn't like reply to me. They like started talking to one another and they were like, gave me my papers. And they're like, next time, have your papers on you. I'm like, what does that what? even mean? Like I had You had papers. your papers. <laughs> exactly. What yeah. the hell? So they were basically just harassing you. Yeah, they were just harassing could. me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they're used to people like who are like, like, because the Greyhound bus is like very cheap. And most people who take it are like immigrants or like people like of color, like who are like, like obviously like not as well off gentrified yeah, yeah. 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 and or white felons exactly well yeah <laughs> Yo, felons yeah people without like luggage or anything yeah. they just have a piece of paper in their hand yeah i yeah. learned that yeah and a lot of people can't speak english well too because yeah. that's what they do is just verbally harass you and like and that's why they were like really frustrated with me like bringing up my lawyer and shit and they yeah. were like because they, they were like, like look at this fancy because, immigrant. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like, um, does your father own this bus? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad is gray. You know. But you yeah. you tweeted the whole story and it went viral. And yeah. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez we retweeted it. Yeah. And it was really awesome because you got your story out there. Absolutely. Yeah, and I get like so many calls like from the ACLU. Do you want to represent me now? Like in a uh, uh, in a in a case against like uh, yeah. uh, against Greyhound or Border Patrol? <laughs> but like they already have a case against Greyhound because okay. uh, Greyhound is not so they can legally ask ICE and uh, CBB which is like Border Patrol not to enter the bus but they're letting, they let so happen. they're complicit yeah 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah are you on Megabus now I was telling you you should be a spokesperson for Megabus right <laughs> there, oh, yeah. that'd be a great gig <laughs> got it uh, now I'm I'm definitely not gonna be using buses anymore like in uh, going through like this bullshit yeah, yeah you know what insane. like 15 years ago my um, a second cousin came to the US for a wedding and she rode a greyhound and this is her first day in the u.s she was already scared because she thinks mm. it's the wild west out here and someone pulled a gun oh, on everyone shit. in the bus oh my god Jesus. yeah and they had to call the cops and it was it was a yeah, mess yeah. she no, was terrified I don't, they, yeah. wasn't there an incident when this man who would like shot somebody's head it was that was in canada yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was this dude who was like obviously mentally unstable and he started stabbing the guy next to him yeah and then and, 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 and that guy protected everybody else on the bus and like died in the process see mm. canadians where, are nice where was he on I was trying to hold you up, huh? It would have helped you out. No one on the bus said shit. They said Fuck those. nothing. Wow. Even when I came back, no one said anything back to me. The, the only thing they were like, they were like relieved that finally the bus is uh, moving because yeah. I inconvenienced them with like, my yeah. existence. And no yeah. one else but, was but, mad but, at Border but, Patrol for. But at the same nothing. time, yeah. What would they like, say? What would they say? Like if I saw that, I don't know what your guns? situation is. You know, like I don't know if uh, yeah. I don't know if this was illegal. I don't know if you're they illegal. They I, I, I feel, you know, here's I my feel thing. like a hundred percent. I would we pull the phone out up. every time I see like a yeah. person of color. I literally like have my phone out. Like if I see police stop, I like have my phone out. But also, I'll do that because you were asking what they should be doing yeah. i'm not i'm not saying they have to do any, anything yeah. except on the internet like when i posted it like at least 300 people were like if i was this on was the lie. bus i would have said this and that i'm like yeah, yeah there were people on the bus it's the but it's easy to say that yeah oh, like, absolutely. you've yeah. ever you know, been in at, the moment you're having like, a whole you're you, in the experience yeah, you've you're been, having an emotional yeah. reaction like you've yeah, been at a exactly. caribou and somebody has like a like as an asshole and he's like ah, i don't want to be involved in this you don't want those also, problems you don't know what the fuck is yeah. going on it's like oh it's not my business but knowing the story yeah that's very fucked up yeah. and why should people have to walk around with papers yeah, yeah. exactly and it's funny because like they uh <laughs> no they released a statement where they were like we asked everyone everyone uh, no. on the bus. But you mean, we're trying to free the nipple and you have to walk around with what papers? A, like, what is that? <laughs> How crazy would it be if like somebody recognized you from Apex that time? <laughs> I'm like, wait, Absolutely. this guy has a good set Absolutely on Apex. Not. Yeah, bro, I should have, I should have take, been, I'm verified. Mm. Bro, take him. I saw me. him bomb once. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the funny thing is I bombed my set at Pullman. Like, uh, like before? That night, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. After or no, no, before? No, before. Oh, before. I was like, is that why they're taking me off the bus? Sir, you're not allowed to be a comedian anymore we're reserving yeah. that it for american citizens yeah. <laughs> man they, they confused the bombs Yo, and this was exactly, a problem exactly, yeah. this is just another reason why immigrants have to work harder at everything so we I, don't get kicked out i like how like she white passing wild. immigrants have to start flying and brown immigrants have to start taking the bus like this is oh yeah <laughs> we have to switch it up absolutely unbelievable yeah. have yeah. you had the bus you, is awful i'll never is take a bus bad. again okay so have that you was, had have oh sorry that was spokane washington yes you had that experience yeah 
yeah, riding yeah. Greyhound. Mm. Yeah. Have you had similar experiences yeah. in no, Minneapolis? I, no, I'm a citizen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for throwing uh, yeah, that out yeah. there. Yeah. No, I don't like. Well, no. what is your status? I've only Can taken. We ask your, what is your status? Well, I are uh, you single? No. Is, <laughs> <laughs> are you single and American? Are you? What single is your and, alien number? Are you, <laughs> oh yes, five, four, five, six. <laughs> are you a fifty-one? <laughs> Or, I'm getting uh, my green card in October. I'm like, I applied for political asylum and I got that approved. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, that's they said they had no records of that, which is like, whatever. But yeah. That's I feel like they just didn't want to read. Papers. Um, no, <laughs> that's you, just bullshit. You also, you one of your tweets, uh, which I thought was like funny and great, uh, which a lot of your tweets are, you were like, I've survived all of these things, like everything in, from back home, yeah. you, like listed out everything. And I was like, and he's like, and you said like, this wouldn't break you. And I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah, I was getting a lot of like hate mail and stuff. Yeah. And like people are just sending me like vile shit. <laughs> what? Uh, this is what I understand. Like what about that experience? Uh, he's a celebrity. He's going to have hate haters. Mail. No, like, it, what, did, yeah. what did you like? And we, like you complied, right? You yes. showed them your papers. And I had my papers. You yeah. did everything you had to do. And when they were harassing you, you're like, "All right, well, if this is going to go further, I'm going to call my lawyer." So exactly. you did everything yes. that you were supposed to do. Yes. So why why the hate? They said that you shouldn't complain. You should just be grateful that you you're here yeah. because if you were back home, you probably would have killed you or something. And I was like, uh, "Is that your standard comparing yeah. uh, comparing the U.S. to a war torn country?" Yeah. Of course, I know. Yeah. That's why yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, like. That is such, that is like the privilege of like immigrants. Well, that's what Hassan was talking about, right? Immigrants yeah. are supposed to feel grateful for just like surviving in this Absolutely. country yeah. and have no standards compared right. to the people who yeah. were born here. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, yeah. it's just like uh, the other thing they were like, oh, this story is fake. Mm. You made this whole thing up. And then uh, Border Patrol like released a statement. Oh, they're like, oh, yeah, this happened. At least and they did that. Them, well, at least yeah. they, they, they confirmed. Like, yeah, they confirmed. And because they confirmed, they were like, yeah, we did all of that and we're defending it. We're defending the agents. Oh, wow. okay. Uh, yeah. They didn't get in trouble, man. Yeah, that's like the, that? the they, Trump thing. They didn't get in trouble. They they, they have no consequences. That's, what, that's why they did that. What was yeah. the motivation like for, cops. Yeah, yeah. for them to even come after you? No, they came in. They asked what four people. What was the people. suspicion? They, no, they, they were asked four, four people. people. Yeah, and... Four people were randomly selected. Randomly selected. Mm-hmm. Everyone who looked like they might be like Middle Hispanic Eastern or, or something. Hispanic. Yeah, because yeah. you kind of okay. look like they, they can mistake you for like. Yeah, Latino. like yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. all of us have gotten Hispanic at some yeah, point. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. And they asked those people, and uh, the proof of citizenship they were asking for was a U.S. passport. Mm. Mm. So that's why I'm like, how could have you asked everyone on the bus, and everyone on the bus had their passport on them? That's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, because you're not, you don't have to travel from state to state state with a passport passport, yeah Yeah. Yeah. that hasn't um that hasn't been like uh it is a law that's going to go into effect at some point you either need like a like a federal id as a driver's license and they have like logos for that yeah or you need your passport but that's not going into effect for for like a couple of years we still got time so for them to do that to everybody on a bus like (laughs) that's a lot of bullshit yeah like even like like, you do have a case against them yeah exactly but also like i'm not a citizen i'm just like imagining like if you are like a citizen and they're like how do you prove it? Like, how do you prove that you're like a citizen? Like, if you don't have your passport on you, I'm like, yeah, I was like born here and stuff. I'm a citizen. Like, how we're do supposed you... to wear a collar or something. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> gotta, how do I prove it? Get a chip. I'll tell you how gonna, you do it. You we're, gonna, we're moving to chip <laughs> technology. You That's a, where we're going. Mahinda, do you get a mega yeah. neck yeah. tattoo? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if I was wearing a MAGA <laughs> hat, MAGA, nothing no, MAGA no, t- this tattoo is just right here. Just get a MAGA hat. Honestly, get a MAGA hat. And so if you're ever on a bus, just wear it and you won't get harassed. Well, then you'll get harassed by liberals. No, but at least. Liberals are not going to deport you. you know what liberals I mean? liberals yeah. are not going to like, I don't think they're going to violently or try to harass you. I think they're just going to leave you alone. And that's why we lose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> liberals will assume you make good music. Okay. <laughs> no, but this is when you do it. Like when they, you see them right, like getting on the bus, you're like, whoop. Here's yeah, you switch, out, you switch out your blue hat exactly. for your... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, then, and then you just point at another immigrant and be like, you better look at it. Well, everything's so charged. Like, you become a target if you put on either one of those hats, you yeah. know? It's crazy. Yeah. Like, honestly, I would rather be left alone. So if the MAGA hat can, like, prove yeah. that I'll be left alone and it's, like, a way of, you know, like, securing my safety... Like in this political climate, <laughs> but I think, okay. I think that okay. might that Just, might work, but you have to steal the MAGA hat from a Trump supporter so you don't pay for it. Of That's course, yeah. I don't you think can, I pay can, for you it. You can buy them on Walmart. No, you don't want to give them money. 
<laughs> you gotta steal there, it. There's plenty of them lying around. I yeah. bet you if you go to Goodwill, you'll probably find. Yeah, a few. if you look through yeah. the trash yeah. or something. Like I something. mean, every, everyone's, you can, you everyone's on Goodwill. this cone, everyone's on this like cone Marie tidying up thing. Like you, <laughs> you are gonna find maga hats neatly folded. Does it spark joy? <laughs> yeah, just from like supporters who repented. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I want to. I do want to see an episode of that where they're like, I just can't let this go. <laughs> this, <laughs> can't this throw this away. Sparks so much joy. Um, all right, so. Yeah, do you, Ali, do you have like a similar story or any crazy experiences? Like, no, I think, I mean, like the, this is like a new, uh, maybe a newish thing where they're yeah. doing it at, at that level. Like I took yeah. a Greyhound once to Canada and it was fine uh, to deal with like, it. How long did it, how long did it take you? Three weeks? Uh, it took a long time, like two days. It man. takes so long. Greyhound, the, they, where, where, why did they take no, so it was long? Like 30 hours because it's a lot, like you have to go from Minnesota all the way to Buffalo, New York, and then and up, it's the most inefficient. Then, yeah, it's, it's the worst thing. And I, yeah. and then and you it's were not sitting, cheap. No, not cheap. And it was, I did it because I wasn't a citizen yet. Yeah. And I didn't have the passport and I want to risk going like flying. So I just did it through yeah. the border because you can just do your ID. Uh, and I just remember like being with like felons and stuff like that. One of them like fell asleep on me. And he was, oh, that's cute. And he was Aww. drooling. And I'm, like, I'm not going to say shit. That's I'm initiation. Like, You're in the yeah. gang now. <laughs> Which bus line? <laughs> yeah. The ba- the worst part is like on, the, oh, on my third. This is Greyhound, right? On my, yeah. On my third trip, I, I had a girlfriend in Canada. On the way back, I got dumped on the way. She texted me on the way back. Really? I was like, I got dumped and then I had 30 hours of oh, <laughs> oh, But to uh, be fair, this was is what so I was, cruel. I was going to say so earlier, cruel. when people are in trouble on a bus, no one pays attention. So yeah. like, that's why they <laughs> didn't reach out and you yeah. can cry on a bus. Yeah. It's great. I love it. I get <laughs> less You're bothered playing. crying on a bus than I do at home. It's amazing. <laughs> well, that's why no one stopped ice. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah, they they might have not even seen them. Yeah, they. I mean, it was just like it was one of those. I was just happy to be back on the bus. Yeah, yeah, and I was just like, which is saying a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that smelly bus. It smells so bad. It was just, honestly it was worse than the experience with. with the, <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah. Oh my oh, goodness! So no one's flying buses ever again. I or I'm I'm flying, flying, I'm flying taking a bus. Yeah, I was taking ever a bus. Again? I'm sorry, no one's taking a bus ever First again. of all, yeah. bitch, I take buses <laughs> after, every day. After seeing how many followers we got on Twitter, I know I was like I literally. Booked, I booked 18 Greyhounds. This <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, it's the how, new Conan. You, you got like you got how like 20,000. How much did that help your Twitter I've, following? Oh, 22k. Gained, <laughs> I've gained 18,000 followers. 18. <laughs> but also, one of your tweets went viral with like five, like half a million. But that's before the thing. That was before the thing. But you didn't get any followers for that. Yeah, my my. Yeah, uh, the the Uber tweet. Yeah, which is so What's funny. What's your Uber tweet? It's uh, you have to. I mean, it's have like to it's it like Uber driver oh, says nothing. I say nothing. Uber driver says nothing. I say five stars. Like exactly. that's yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is so it's like silence, Very silence, funny. silence. Yeah. Five stars. Is it worth half a million? I'm, I'm it is. Yes. <laughs> but what's funny to me is that like, like, why does it take? Why can't they appreciate our jokes? It takes like drama for but them you know, to follow. You know what's us. funny though? Like every vital tweet I had had to do with transportation. That's, that's so my, funny. That's my bread. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. that. You're that guy. You're the new airplane. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Wait, this got half a million. Yeah. yeah. Uber driver. Dot dot dot. Me. Dot dot dot. You said, Did you notice how she said that with doubt? Yeah. She's like, yeah. this, no, this, I, no, this. This is every comic's mentality. What? You're too. Okay. Fuck you. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you're hilarious. I'm not like. I mean, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. I, f- I feel like Twitter is somewhat separate from yeah. like and, who and, you and are. To be fair, d- to be fair, that joke is better on stage. Yeah. <laughs> I would never do it on stage. It's ridiculous. Actually, yeah. I, I'm like thinking about it. I think it would be like, Uber driver. Dot 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 dot. <laughs> I just, I'm just gonna print out my tweets and no, like honestly, and care though, and have like, them. Did you? I mean, when you did that, were you like, oh, this is gonna get like no, half abso- a million? No, absolutely. Like, when you got when you got to 300k, you're like, this is bullshit. She yeah. Yeah. Half. See, see, the you know, thing is, like, you have merch like, yet? Is that the, a t-shirt? The reason this please went make viral, that a t-shirt. The reason it went viral, like. Everyone can agree on that. It's not yeah, that's people's hard. hatred that's of Uber drivers also, talking. Yes. Also, yeah. like very international now. Yeah, like it is as that's international true. as Uber. That's yeah. Did you think that your ice story would go viral? Yeah. No, no, that one I was like, like I was like, oh, I have like followers that I'm like, uh, like have like big numbers, like who follow them and stuff. I'm, and honestly, like one reason I tweeted, I was like so angry. Yeah. I just wanted to. I could feel somewhere. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So I did that, and then it just like it like started like getting like 100 200 and then i'm like <laughs> oh my god what's happening here just like yeah. blowing up and then i started like getting phone calls did like you from- hashtag somebody 
No, no he, he literally just told the story told in the a story. thread, and oh, I wow. could feel your anger. You were yeah, like, yeah. "I need to tell you guys what happened too. to me." Exactly. And it, yeah. yeah, and then felt violated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I started getting call, phone calls from like like uh, like news agencies and stuff like that. And like I'm like, "Is this a good time for an interview?" I'm like, "I'm still on the bus." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you tweeted this while you're, you're on the You're like, bus. oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, you had a lot of time, huh? I had six hours yeah. to go. And by the time I was home, it was it's just like. Story done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, um, did did you get any pussy from this? <laughs> uh, my, yeah, my girlfriend, girlfriend who was Oh, home. nice. Oh. <laughs> you got some Yay. white goat pussy. <laughs> she was on the bus white with you? Pussy. No, she was. Oh, she she going to marry you, <laughs> get <laughs> you that green card? <laughs> Are you, I just couldn't lose you. Are you dating a white girl? Yeah. Was there was that like white guilt p- pussy that you got afterward? You think was she trying to like make it up for every every way that you? Were I think wronged? it's because she hasn't seen me in three days. Oh, that could have been it yeah. too. It's the smell of she the just... boss. She's like, ooh, sexy, <laughs> <laughs> sexy. She's like these cold, cold hands. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Um, okay, so you're actually like a, okay. One, you're hilarious. Um, but you. you're also on uh, Conan's list of comics to watch. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah, because I yeah I did I did comics to watch. <laughs> Holly, yeah. what the fuck you got? Tell us your Nothing, resume, yeah. bitch. I'm, I'm the hype man from Hannah. Okay, That's no, but I mean, I was, he's got was, a Comedy Central special. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold hey. on, you were in Heart of the City, right? I was. Yeah, yeah. That's a Kevin Hart's project. Yeah, but it's not about me right now. It's about Hannah. And I, all right, it's all right. about both of you. Focus. Trying to, no, I'm trying to. Here's we're my trying thing. To here's thing. Here's my, I kind of impose myself on this. Let me say something. This guy, this guy recently had a comedy special in Dubai. Oh, excuse me. Tell us more. Tell us. More about Dubai. <laughs> you guys yeah. are each other's hype man. Yeah. So now it's in a flip. You guys wait. Haggle flip. your your management yeah. fees for each other right now. <laughs> uh, dude, I, what, is it? What is it going to take? Ice for me to be uh, if I can pay attention to yeah. in this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. actually, and that's why we brought them here tonight. No, oh, <laughs> oh, that'd, be, that'd be so funny. Come in? No, that'd be the greatest. No, no, thank you for having me. I know this was like initially his no, thingy. No, no, we I wanted, appreciate no. to be a part of this. You guys are wonderful. Thank Listen, you. Well, we, we're just happy to have you both thank on. You. Once we yeah. saw you were funny on stage, we were like, all right. Uh, yeah. Just, isn't like, it, like, isn't it cool. funny when you have someone on your show and not sure? And then they go, oh, oh thank God. Well, here's the, you I never nice. recommended, though. You were recommended, but also you never know with referrals yeah, you know, from, yeah, from yeah. comics yeah. out of town, you know? Because you know, she didn't say anything. She was she just say. like, so, like so, I know so, these so. guys. And I'm like, but are they funny? She's like, yeah. I vouched like, for Mahanad. Sure? Yeah. I was like, I know him if it's the right Mahanad. <laughs> I said that like three times. I'm like, that didn't get a last name. But if it's that one, it's, yeah. it's fine. I only it's know one Mahanad, and that's you. I'm like, this. Oh, yeah. Well, I just knew that someone on your status about. You like post like people mistaking you for Muhammad yeah. was also a Muhammad, and I was like, I don't know if that's a comic or not. You know, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know who doesn't know Muhammad uh, is Paul, Paul, the guy who hosted our show last yeah. night, who <laughs> did the wrong introduction. <laughs> really? I was like, can we go for Muhammad twice? And then it took like uh, an hour later for him to realize. <laughs> yeah, Paul Elia hosted. But it's, yeah, it's an honest mistake because if you like yesterday. used to read in Muhammad all the time, yeah, no, you, yeah. Gonna, yeah. you assume the M. You assume absolutely, the M. yeah, yeah. It's one I mean, of the most common names. Um, but is Muhammad common? No. See, yeah. The thing is, like in Arabic, like when you pronounce Muhammad, uh, like Muhammad, and Muhammad, it's complete. Like it's like, like Muhammad Muhammad. Exactly. It's so yeah. Yes, yeah, right. Muhammad Muhammad. So it's like different. Yeah. Like in, like as an Arabic speaker, like yeah. you can like would never mistake yeah. those. Oh, yeah, okay. but like in English, they just sound yeah. like look similar. Interesting. Yeah. Got it. Okay, back to you now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so right. you have Comedy Central. So uh, what, like what? Tell us about your special. Uh, it's I don't know. Do your about. special. Do do the do the half hour. Do the half hour right now. Uh, What else? uh, How was the Dubai crowd? It was was so they were so savvy. (laughs) Are they? Are they like they got all the American like cultural? They picked up on all of all of it. It's like one of the most diverse places. It is. It's the weirdest place, right? It is, but it has like a huge like multicultural expat population. Yeah, so it's like like, different cultures. Yeah, yeah. It's like a clean New York. You go in there, there's a lot of diversity. But it's but it's even more than that because you will see women in like full like burqa everything, and then you'll. See, really like, see them that many of them. Oh, really? I no. go there a lot. Yeah, what were you there. saying? You? Okay. What were you about to say? Uh, this is an interesting place for comedy because it's like in the 80s there. You know, like they, they have demand for it, but yeah. very little supply. There's no open mics and shit like that. Uh, and then like the crowds, you know, like, a thousand people showed up. And yeah. It's a nice theater. And then like they were really excited to be there. Did you have uh, to do clean? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But like, you know, it's because it's Dubai. It's like, we're free. You can say anything you want except for uh, drugs, uh, the government and <laughs> and religion. Like, you know, like they, Which government? Just any? Yeah, like theirs. Okay. Their it's government. He's like, don't, don't talk about Yemen. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm from there. That's going to be tough. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Because okay. they're involved in the, you know. Uh, excuse me. Can you like now mention that we're bombing you? Yeah. Can you please, uh, 
uh, can you be polite as our guest? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's a little unpleasant. We, we don't should be know. grateful that we have you here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So no rated R material. Could you talk about yeah. ankles, women's ankles? Was that allowed, or that's not uh, allowed either? I, no, I've seen like somebody was saying, <laughs> some, Dick someone, ankles. someone was doing like sex jokes. I'm, oh, someone was. Like it was. Yeah, you can get away with that more so than like politics and yeah. some okay. things yeah. that matter. Yeah, we heard but in it's India, cool. it's religion also yeah. is a like a hot button topic. Oh, you want to? But avoid it's cool. That. Like you know how like comics pretend to be like edgy here and like be like oh, well, I'm gonna fucking say something. like no, you're not doing shit but like their accounts if you talk about religion and if you talk about like uh, oh there's actual consequences for being edgy yeah. Yeah, yeah, here so people, much people there yeah. just disappear like yeah. people yeah, exactly. will be disappeared into yeah. the desert yeah. and they're like a lot of the workers their passports are given to their employers as uh, part of their I, contract I'm, I'm, uh, and my contract I can't talk about that <laughs> I just signed a contract I can't when I went to I'm, Saudi oh, Arabia okay. I had to give my passport to the yeah. government that's so scary yeah that's scary wait the whole time you were there yeah they held on to your passport and you get it back at the end it's very loud Saudi Arabia is the only country like I refuse to go to yeah I don't think I want to the money is good what about North Korea you're fine there I would never go to Saudi Arabia like absolutely I I have no intent of going there okay half a mil no, I wouldn't go like for half a mil. Because, half like, a million never, retweets? But, would you go there? Because <laughs> you never, for half like, a million retweets, what did they I would promise? go. That's okay. not your favorite. Was it worth it? Was, it worth it? They promise was the ice you, thing worth it? Was that? Was the ice thing worth it? Was I it worth mean, it for the Twitter follow? Oh hell yeah, it was. <laughs> Quest Love follows <laughs> it, me, so I'll yeah, take yeah, it. I think yeah. it's worth it. Shout oh, out to Quest okay. Love. Retweet hold this. Hold on. Okay, so you were gonna say, hold on. Quest Love is my new Facebook friend. Okay, so whatever. But you still win because you got more. No, what I was gonna say though, like even <laughs> like let's say they offer you two million dollars to go to Saudi. I'll like, go. Do you are you guaranteed that you're gonna leave though? That's the my, my whole yeah. thing. Because yeah. yeah. people disappear in like embassies. I would yeah. I would put that on yeah. the contract. I mean, if you haven't said anything like that's against them, you should be fine. But, what's but also, also post if, you, that video. if you're a what's target, against them? if you're also, a target, but also people like it's like entrapment too. Like they'll like people in those countries like will frame you. North Korea does that shit all the time. They yeah. frame so many like Americans. Well, that's like, the thing. If you're a target, you're not safe regardless. Well, they can come here's, up with the, any here's how it is throw with, a bag with on comedy because comedy is getting popular there, and what these people do is is like yeah, there a are royalty. Com- it's like uh, it's kind of like oh, I'm gonna bring Russell Male Peters comics. and yeah. he's gonna perform in my room, and then it's like a, a status symbol. Yeah, I mean that's a common well, thing here too. So the royal scary, family though. enjoys all of the luxuries and entertainment that yeah. the ma- the main population does not. Oh, absolutely. yeah, yeah, it's exactly. a, yeah, it's a status thing. So yeah, I, but I, even I, when the Saudi like even when royalty comes here, and the men, I'm just talking about the men. Yeah, when when the Saudi princes come here, like they have. They have houses here in Beverly Hills, and yeah. like they they yeah. get male comics to perform. perform well, there's for so them many the of them. Time. Oh yeah, yeah. Paul, does Paul have we a story? We probably all went to college. Paul, with Paul him. Elia has a story. Has a story. It's there's so funny. A, to there, me. There's there's a few comics out yeah. here that have like a yeah. performing for the Sally Prince kind of story. Yeah, and yeah. So they, I mean, it's it's popular. Yeah. I wonder if they you like know? performed also for like Rihanna and Janet Jackson. Like <laughs> they like yeah. had all these Saudi. Yeah, they were there already. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you got to sign an NDA when you go in there and all of that too. Yeah. But get free. On the but, way but the ice story. Don't say anything or we'll kill you. Is would that the you, NDA? Would you probably? Yeah. Would you do it again? Would, would I do it again? Would you do it again I would for the Twitter follow? I would definitely make the story up again. Uh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you had to relive it again, what would you change? Oh, uh, I would just like not even step outside of the bus. You really? Yeah, yeah. Because like once I like once I got on the bus and I started like reading more and more and more. Because like here's here's what my worry was. Oh yeah, can you give a, a, advice to people? No, seriously. Yeah. Because I got back on the bus and then I was like, oh shit, we have like two other stops before we get to Portland. What if they what if they come back again? Yeah. Like I so I like spent like two hours just like reading like immigration laws and stuff like that. And you can straight up be like. Like when they ask you, are you a citizen? I'm like, I don't have to answer you. Like, do you uh, have a you warrant? Can, yeah. you, can, like, you can plead the fifth. So you weren't aware yeah. of your rights. Or like, for, like actually, like the Fourth Amendment. You're like, Fourth Amendment, like is like you can't ask me that. Like you, like I'm protected, and you shouldn't be like even. I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I'm, I don't. Wow. Like, uh, like give me yeah. my, your papers. I'm not gonna yeah, give you my papers. Well, the thing is like, but it's just like who, rules are, uh, are who's for, prepared for, for the whites, situation. not for you. Well, well <laughs> yeah, I think at that trunk. point, do they have? Are they armed? But here's the thing, because I like I uh, like because the story I read before where uh, it, this happened before, and this uh, this African American lady, uh, like she knows so much about the laws and stuff, and she was like, she started yelling at them, like this is your Fourth Amendment, like don't give them. Your oh papers, yeah, I saw that too. And they stepped out because they can't because they can't, they shouldn't be on there without but a they warrant. They count. On people not knowing their rights, yeah. and most people do not Absolutely. expect to be in that situation because it's a fucked up situation. Absolutely, because once you give your papers, then 
it's on you. You, yeah. you, uh, yeah, yeah. Your cooperation is your mistake. Yeah, yeah. Are they are they armed? These people? They are. Yes. That's, that's the scariest that's, part. Well, that's why I took my hands out of my pockets because I'm like, I've watched enough documentaries yeah. to know that you're gonna shoot me. We've for, seen enough viral videos exactly. about that. Yeah. So, so your advice is, so if is it just like if you're on a bus, like what if you're if you're crossing any border, if they're asking to see your papers, well, that's different. If you cross, if you're, you're actually crossing a border, yes. yes. If you're yeah. within state lines, yeah, because no one is allowed to yeah. ask you Absolutely. if you're a citizen or to show papers. No or one any should of that. ask if you if you're within if the you country. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. That Not just happen. crossing state yes. lines. So you legit have a case against them. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they shouldn't. They shouldn't have asked. But also, like my my case is not, it's not just them asking me. Is the fact it's that harassing. they <laughs> is the fact that they denied my papers were legal and they refused to check. And then when they released the statement, they were like, oh, no, we checked, and his he is in the records. I'm like, you told me I wasn't in the records. Yeah, you can't change they were harassing now. you. They yeah, were lying and exactly. harassing you. Yeah. Wow. So how long do these cases usually take? They're, are they drawn out? They take they take some time, but it's not about like I mean it's not about like winning or like not winning yeah. the case. It's more about like public opinion, like yeah. publicizing the story. Like this is what we're doing. Yeah. So that makes them like, oh, we don't want to like, have to deal with that again. So they would tone it down. So this it's about like them being like yeah. so you're being held accountable, if not by the government, it's by the media and like people opinions and stuff. So yeah, because like these like agents like like. They know that there's like no consequences for the, what they're doing, even if they're not doing their job right. No one's gonna, act like, there's like nothing is gonna happen to them. So whatever, you know. So that's what the whole like case is about. Like, because once they like the case starts, they're gonna like publicize. Like we're like we're doing, we're having a case against mm-hmm. them. So like people would know more. I'm like, oh, what my rights are. Like, and yeah. like uh, one good thing about it, like Greyhound, like one like uh, called me too, and they were like, now nah, we're gonna start like. Uh, they're gonna like start putting uh, air fresheners up. <laughs> yeah, but also part of the deal is now they're gonna like put like flyers and like Greyhound stations that like have your like rice or oh, what to perfect. call both oh, in that's Spanish good. and nice. English. Nice, that's good. Nice. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. You, you, I think you have a settlement waiting for you. Yeah, well, I don't know if Greyhound <laughs> has any money to give you. But I, like, I, have I money. feel like if you took one shot, <laughs> you would have been good for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to take your hands you out just, of your pocket you, like an idiot. You know, if you had just taken a punch to the face, so I just, think just keep your hands in the pocket. Oh, absolutely. Roll the dice. Added an extra zero, Cash two zeros oh to that, God. three. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you. I'm glad Thank you, you got a huge Twitter following yeah. out of yeah. it. And yeah. Uh, yeah. how many? It, day, how many? I'm glad days it was worth it. it. Was that? I'm glad it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many, because uh, I know you were like overwhelmed. You were like, okay, I'm not going to talk about it again. And then you talk about it a little bit and you're like, okay, I'm done. Like yeah. people kept asking you questions. How many days till your phone stopped like exploding? <laughs> like, it took a week. Cause, yeah. Like, because I was getting like emails and like, just like my phone was like ringing and stuff like that. And at, at first I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to give an interview. I'm going to tell you what happened, all of that. But then it got to the point where like, I'm, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like yeah. stop calling me. Like, like every like, time you look at your phone, you're like, did they, are they trying to book me for a show? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also like the other reason I stopped like giving interviews, they, uh, they started like doing the thing where like they use my words against me. Oh, like somehow. Yeah. Oh, one of the things that they did, which is like one of the most fucked up things ever. Like they took part of my, like they found, this is why I took all of my videos, like, uh, that were, like, online. I put everything on private. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, these, that's why. I was like, this is the first comic I've seen in, like, years that's still on private. They started, like, using my material in, like, that's in bed. And they talked about al Yeah. They, yeah so so they took a joke where I'm, like, I'm talking about, like, when I did my immigration case. And I was, like, uh, <laughs> so I was talking. I was, like, oh, yeah, I come from, like, uh, a country that's predominantly Muslim country. And when I answer questions, I have to disassociate myself from that as much as possible. So I do the thing where I like uh, lie. That's the jo- <laughs> like that's the joke, and it's a part of like a longer, yeah. uh, longer like. Yeah. And they cut that part, put it with the article, and just put Shut it out up. there. Shut up! Shut up! This yeah. is liar. This, I knew that's it. So I knew up. it. <laughs> I I hate when people do this, and it's like it's it is this climate, right? Like yeah. where where people are taking Take chunks out of context, of, yeah. take, and we're comedians. We're gonna yeah. say things yeah. like that um, aren't true. Oh, like, that are going to be horrible out of context. Yeah. Here's what I hated They're going to be horrible in context. Yeah, what's even worse than that is like when he would like respond to someone like, you know, somebody would be an ass and I'm like, fuck you. And then go, you showed your true colors. Oh now you, get, you deserve to be, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. have no 
have rights. rights. Yeah, I was like, on your side. I'm like, you can no, be an asshole not. and have rights. Don't matter. Yeah, yeah, there's so many right, assholes. Exactly. Tommy Laren. And right? he wasn't even a man, an asshole. He was upset <laughs> exactly. at the situation. So, yeah, I'm the one who gets like I'm get detained, and then I have to be nice yeah. to everyone who's telling me that I'm a liar. That's like, the that's yeah. the being that's, grateful. They, they thing. want us that's to be like be polite, be grateful. You're not in Benghazi. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's so funny. Unbelievable. So what are the things if someone in that situation? Um, what would you tell them they should know? Like, I fourth mean, honestly, the Fourth like, Amendment, yeah. right? Yes. Also, at this climate, honestly, if you have your like, if you have any kind of paper, just it's inconvenient. But like, just bring everything, no matter what it is. But you don't have to give it to them if you're traveling with you. You don't US. have to give it to them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You you shouldn't have like you shouldn't have to give it to them. You shouldn't have to prove that you're a citizen because even if you are like. Like, why are you going to carry your passport on you all the time? Like, how yeah. how do you prove it? Yeah. Like, like. Just my, of, my laid back attitude. Yeah. That's how I prove. <laughs> That's, I yeah. just, I, I can't believe, I still can't believe within state lines, they like harass you like that. That yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well. But. On um, behalf of yeah. citizens, we're so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> on behalf of Americans, you know, yeah. I, I'm well, sorry we You're just that. as American. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're all into like <laughs> But what together, standards? So. Yeah. By the fact that he like lives here yeah. and he's part of our like society yeah. and he's a stand up comedian that's doing better than me in yeah. America. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> He's a Middle East. He's a brown guy in America dating a yeah. white girl. Basically, like everyone. He's basically, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Can I ask you? You're that? living the dream. Can I ask you guys a question? So American. God bless America. I've always like. I feel like resentment when brown women talk about white girls. What's going on there? Um. Oh, like. Oh, well, there's. There's always like a weird. Can we, can uh, brown we, women always have like weird. It's like like how black chicks don't like uh, black dudes that date white women. I feel like that's also like uh, we get think, judged for that. I think growing up, uh, I, I think it's white was, people. Yeah. No, I think. Oh, they were okay. just, and then enough. white women are a whole, you know, there's a yeah, whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but also, they're like, I mean, it's, it's the same season. thing, the privilege that we've all experienced, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, if you're talking about like an added layer, um, I w felt really bad about my appearance growing up because I was surrounded by white women okay. and mm -hmm. that were like thought to be more beautiful and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it was racism. Like it was yeah. just people. Yeah. And so guys would make comparisons and then that like festers over time. Mm -hmm. And also like, the white like white women would like take advantage of those comparisons and like feel better or feel more entitled to things Absolutely, which is yeah. we all experience it's the minority that. experience yeah. so i was yeah, around a lot also, i was a brown like, woman yeah. amongst a lot of white women yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's so that's a, it's, also, it's the experience thing, I'm, not, I'm, yeah. I'm not judging i'm just curious yeah, another just, thing like yeah. i hear sometimes like from like people of color like like men and stuff they would like straight up be like oh i don't date that that woman like like yeah. I don't yeah. date like a uh, black woman I don't date like brown yeah. like, I don't date women from my race because they, they're this and that I just think it's interesting that people have too. a type yeah so I don't I don't have a type I, I kind of grew know. up I grew up yeah. kind of hearing this like oh I don't I don't I don't date other Pakistani girls I don't yeah. I don't date Desi yes. girls I only date Puerto Ricans yeah. and white girls and, and this and that I'm it's like more specific what? as you get in, like, and I'm just like some people want limitation yeah that's fine but it's like don't put down an entire ethnicity of women because. Because you're like, but you're it's like weird. They don't, they don't want him either. I'm like, they don't want him. Also, but like, but I didn't like, ask but you. you. Yeah, you don't have to say. <laughs> also, because this is like not saying I have a type. This is like being Fuck like, I, I would date everyone except This them. is how yeah, I'm racist. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. it's like. Yeah, that's exactly. It's just I, information. I also think, like, also when I was like growing up with that, like, there were the comparisons that were made. And every once in a while, like, a white guy or even a brown guy would be like, oh, like, they're actually hot Indian women, like, to my face. <laughs> actually, <laughs> like, I saw, oh, I oh. actually saw hot Indian women. Or, like, like you they'll do that you're yeah. like attractive for your race that's or they so, won't believe that yeah. I'm just Indian like, if I, grew, I, they I think I am attractive. I grew up watching some Bollywood. I know that. Yeah. I've always known. But that's yeah. so weird there's though surprise. because Ashwara Rai was named like the most she's, beautiful woman in yeah. the world for I like mean, 10 years yeah. straight. A but, lot of a lot of world beauty oh, yeah. pageants yeah. like Indi India's been in the top 10. You know, like, who said winner. that? That's just like a weird yeah. thing to say. Also, yeah. It's happened multiple times. Also this is another thing where like people like feel like if I did a white woman that would give me a higher status. Status, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just like they look I'm like oh if that like the couple I'm in like people like look high up yeah. to me because I got the approval of a white woman mm -hmm. versus if I'm like someone of my race I'm like yeah of course but yeah. Like, yeah. that's yeah. the but damage of, of yeah. everything that happened before absolutely. you yeah. 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 I'm absolutely. sorry yeah. that you were programmed with that also yeah. I'm not yeah. I don't think I'm like uh, I didn't mean it to come off in the delivery that oh mm -hmm. he's just another brown guy I was a white just girl. curious I meant all. it more as like uh, he's assimilated yeah. I mean that is like the epitome of assimilating you're dating you a white so? girl no yeah no I like it because it's like I like 
like all, it. We've all dated yeah. white no, people. I, like, I, it's kind of yeah, like I took no offense, so, dude. Saying. Dude, it's, it's, just it's a, yeah. no. <laughs> no, it's, it's totally fine. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think you. But don't you bring that yeah. bitch around here? No. Okay. Let me tell you something. She doesn't like it. Bring her around. White girls are also my demographic. I'll tell you this: the advantage, advantage. You, if you're in a, if you're on a greyhound with a white girl, that is your citizenship. Yeah. Always bring one white girl to cry in front of the cops. Exactly. That's what you always do. Always have one white girl in the group. Did you not see Get Out? <laughs> the advantage I look at you like oh this guy's pre pre approved. Pre -approved. Like, or they get mad. <laughs> I'm like, get mad. I it's easier actually to like uh in, in America I feel like it's easier to talk Okay, about. has everybody here dated a white person? Yep. There you go. Yes. You yeah. Mm, Ollie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, we've all yeah. we've all have done guys, our part. Have you dated brown people? Yeah. I was gonna say oh, yeah. yeah. I was Absolutely. just gonna tell you yeah. something. Uh when you're like on a date with a like when you're with your brown person. Your brother it's easier than it, it is, is when easier, being yeah. like a with a white person because people like oh look, yeah people look stare look yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, what's going on? yeah it sucks yeah so, right, we, but when they see you with a brown person like oh yeah that makes sense classic <laughs> <laughs> classic keep it they're keep not it brown. disturbing us yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. in movies where they pair off yeah. yeah um okay we have to wrap up I think we do um so oh, having fun I know well that's yeah, good we, we, you guys are leaving us wanting more but you're not leaving yet you're not done we're not done. What? We're not done. We have what? a couple yeah. a couple questions. This is right? a weird transition. Okay. All right. Let's we're go. Not done. We're not done. We're not done with you. Um, so we usually <laughs> like we ask, I think we've kind of uh, we ask if people have any questions about our culture or anything, but because you guys are brown, what what is the dumbest thing that people have, or like, a, you know, things that you get repeatedly asked for being uh, in your culture? Like mm. so from being from Libya or being from Yemen, do you get like weird what are the weirdest questions you've ever I think, had I think, to address? Like a lot of it is like has to do with like uh, the women in my family, because uh, like when uh, I, like people like ask me like uh, what does your mom do or something like that, like yeah. anything other than like a housewife is just like oh wow they're surprised right yeah. they're shocked wow that's uh, you must be she's a, a hero <laughs> I'm like yeah that's such a liberal family I'm like and I'm like no actually like a lot of like uh, like Libyan women like yes we still have the mentality of like oh women should stay at home I'm like we have so many like women who are just like mm -hmm. like in government or like in like uh, you like, know educated hardworking professional yeah, women yeah. <laughs> exactly and I'm like yeah I have a sister she doesn't wear hijab she doesn't like she like she and they're like yeah. oh my god blah 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 I'm like, no. yeah, just like that thing where, like, I tell them my mom drives a car, and they're like, we thought a woman can't drive. I'm like, I don't know. Well, that's the information uh, that's fed by the media. And, exactly. Yeah. 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 And, which is are true so, to some parts of the Middle East. You know, if you don't go out of your way to yeah, get the information, absolutely. how would you yeah. know it? True. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 that's my least favorite thing about, like, people, like, assumption about, like, Muslim women, stuff like that. Like, my mom is, like, one of the baddest. What's that sound? It's okay. <laughs> my mom is people. like one of, one of the baddest baddest people I know. Like she is like she was a nurse by the age of 14, 12, 13. She was like one of the best nurses in Sinai, Yemen. Went to college while uh, being married, divorced, having a kid. She's wow. like she's incredible. She's a strong fucking powerful woman. Oh my woman. god! You ha you and said this hilarious joke last night mm. about your mom. Oh, yeah. the, okay. she, <laughs> she's been married four times. Four times. She's yeah. not a quitter. Not a quitter. <laughs> yeah. And and you know she used to like feel like embarrassed by, by that thing. And I was like, do you understand? Like, because even women in the Middle East will look down on a divorcee. Yeah. But dude, you are mm. you you were stuck with an abusive fucking dude Looked for down. twenty some years. My mom dropped three of these fuckers. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nice. It's like yeah, she's <laughs> great. And and that's why like I like I do a podcast with my mom. See how oh, smooth nice. that is. And, and it's called Stories with My Muslim Mom. You know actually. <laughs> I was Look just going to say, can we have your yeah. mom on the podcast? Uh, yeah. she's, she's exclusive. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, oh well. she's Management not, if, again. If she's ever in LA, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, uh, let's and do it. then the whole idea is to like, to break that search up and yeah. show that yeah. she's a woman and she has her own opinions. Yeah, our moms are multi-dimensional people. Yeah, they assume we're like, uh, like we're like, especially if you're a hijabi, that you're like just a, this oppressed, yeah. speechless person. Yeah, but also one thing, like I think that's like very like a well, the specific, keywords person. Yeah, yeah. Specific to Thank me you. is people like assume that because like Libya is going into war now, like for five years, and so they assume that has been my whole life, like. Mm -hmm. Cause like, so tell us about like growing up and being a child in the war zone. I'm like, yeah, there was nothing happening when I was a child. It was like very chill. Yeah. And they like, like the people like imagine me as being like a child soldier of some sort or stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm very chill. <laughs> like watch TV. Uh, and like, I don't know what, what to tell you. Like, or, or I don't know. Like if you have that, or like, yeah. oh, yeah, people ask you like how long you've been here. I'm like, oh, your English is so good. 
I get that. And you've been here for five years. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I get I'm that. Like, I've learned that's the that's English it. back home. Like I didn't learn it here. Yeah. Just like, what's that disruption like to go from you know n normal everyday whatever what everyone would experience you'd think to 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 war, chaos and war. Yeah. It, I mean, Violence. it was. I mean, yeah, it's, it's some. Yeah, I mean, it's something like happened like out of the sudden, yeah. and it was just so weird. But but also that? the reason that you had to come here was because you were helping. There. Yes, exactly. That's that's the other thing. Like because people are like why uh, why why did you come here if you don't like it or whatever? Because yeah, I was like helping like uh, like American journalists and stuff. And the reason I couldn't traitor. go back. Yeah, that's what because you're a traitor. That's why people back snitch. home were like they were, they were, like, they were, like, they were harassing you and snitches. your family. Exactly. You helped and Hillary, you and helping... now we have slave trade. <laughs> <Fuck> you, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> while you were putting your life at risk to help Americans. Exactly. Yeah, and I worked for the like the American and embassy in Benghazi and stuff. And people oh like God. back home, they're like, oh, this is like treason and stuff or whatever yeah. and then you come here and they're like what have you done to this country I'm like I've done more than you like I've like yeah. risked my life for these people yeah. that are like now are here so it's just like and then uh, they're harassing you within state lines exactly yeah exactly oh that is an amazing story though yeah yeah Okay, do we want to, are we good? Do we want to ask another question? Are we good? I have so many more questions, but that just means you guys are going to have to come back. Yeah, oh, absolutely. We're, we're going to have to have a follow-up episode. Yeah, where can people can find you? Well? Uh, at Ollie Sultan Comedy and then at uh, Ollie underscore Sultan on Twitter. And what's the name of your, what's special? special? Uh, it's not out yet, but it's 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 going to be out in, I don't know when it's <laughs> <laughs> Follow his social uh, media, you guys. I, I, yeah, go it's to my website, ollysultancomedy.com, and you can find my social media and all that good stuff. <laughs> on Comedy uh, Central. Yep, you can, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, you can I'm follow behind. me on Twitter because I need more followers. <laughs> look, uh, look, this fucker has 23k followers. Uh, at Mohanid Al Shaky. Yeah. Can you spell Al Shaky for me? Uh, can you, you spell Mohanid? Honestly, yeah, M O H A N A D. And I feel like once you search that, you'll. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like the no one. other famous Mohanid. Uh, the only verified. You can actually. Yeah. You're just gonna just type Mohanid Ice and it'll pop up. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Or just yeah. Mohanid comedian. Like honestly, you were so easy to, to yeah. research. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Conan's on Conan's radar. So just yeah. quick yeah. little Google. And Paul Feig's. Yeah. Working on a project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're so excited Everybody. for both of you guys. Um. This has been the Facial Recognition Comedy Podcast. Uh, you can find us at facialrecognitioncomedy.com. We have our show at the second Sunday of every month at Westside Comedy Theater in Santa Monica at 9 p.m. Um, and you can find us at Facial Recognition Comedy on Instagram and Facebook and Facial Rec Comedy on Twitter. We have merch now. We, we have do. shirts and stickers that are really cool, cool design by Fizz's roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin Romero, he's an illustrator. He um, did a great job. Yeah, DM us, slide up in our DMs if you want to buy a t shirt. Um, you Let can us know what size. Yeah. Yeah. You can find me at Paula Viganalan, P A L L A V I G U N A L A N, everywhere. And uh, my socials are really Zara. Zara is spelled Z A H R A. And I am Fizza Dasani, F I Z A A D O S A N I, at Fizza Dasani everywhere. Yay, thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Can you guys give us, can you guys give us like a little outro? You guys brought us in. Can you take us out in a coordinated way? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that. Welcome What's, to. No, outro. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> what should we say? Whatever you want. Whatever you want, man. How do you say goodbye? Usually? How do you want to end this podcast? You guys uh, just end it. Salam alaikum, everybody. <laughs> yeah, this was the best podcast on the.